It is 835. Welcome back. We are continuing our election coverage by interviewing candidates and talking about the different ballot measures all morning long. Joining us now is Daryl Issa running for the 50th Congressional District seat in one of the most contested races. Good morning, Daryl. Thank you for joining us. Good morning, Lauren. And uh, this is my last appearance, so uh, I suspect before the election. So I want to thank KUSI. Nobody has covered all of these races, including mine uh, as well. Well, thank you. We, we do do our best and try, try to get everybody in. Uh, earlier, I don't know if you saw uh, our interview, we interviewed your uh, opponent, Tamar Campanajar, and he was, you know, very pointed in saying that uh, one of the accusations against him is that he's going to be a, a puppet for Nancy Pelosi and saying, and I quote, he said, she hates me, uh, that he's sort of a, a different Democrat running in a, a mostly Republican district historically. Your thoughts on that? Well, I think uh, she may hate him now, but she put in millions earlier, uh, directed money toward him, ran independent ads for him. I think what's what's happened is he's tried to be all things to all people. So he said things that are extremely conservative. Then he would said things that are extremely progressive, denounced groups that he previously had sought an endorsement of. It's that back and forth between being a Bernie Sanders progressive and then trying to be a blue dog that I think has earned him a lack of respect on both sides. You know, one thing about uh, Washington is you, you compromise with people in order to get a bill to move forward, but you don't compromise who you are or what your integrity is. They have to know where you stand and you've got to be pretty consistent. And that's what 18 years as a conservative uh, congressman has taught me, is that I can work with Juan Vargas or Scott Peters because we, we figure out what we can find in common ground, not because we pretend we're on the other person's side on everything. So what are you hearing from people in the 50th? Because this is this is one of those races that people nationally are watching, because as as we've seen, it, it's gained a lot more ground and sort of turned purple uh, in a lot of a lot of polls. What are your thoughts and what are you hearing from constituents of the 50th? Well, as we went double digit ahead, obviously the undecided, uh, the people who may or may not be voting for President Trump uh, came back home to decide that they wanted to vote for me. Many of them had voted for me many times when I represented a big part of this district. And I think that's what I'm seeing more than anything else is Republicans, of course, have voted for me. Most, but not all Democrats have voted for my opponent. But the uh, the decline to states, for the most part, uh, in this district, they tend to be homeowners. They, they tend to have a car. They tend to be conservative in their personal values. And they've rallied behind my campaign because they know I'll give them an honest uh, representation in Washington as I did for 18 years for much of this district. So as we're sort of doing in, in the, the final moments we have, what is what is your last minute push to voters as we head into the final day of, of election? Well, I think the last minute push is to get out and vote today. Don't wait till tomorrow. We, in this pandemic, we actually have four days of what we would call voting day. And there were technical problems up in Riverside County in Temecula, which is part of this district. Uh, we don't want to have people uh, alienated by showing up on Election Day and there be a technical problem. If you're going in, whether you're voting live or not, bring your mail-in ballot if you received it. Uh, and uh, if, like so many people, there were irregularities, you didn't receive a ballot or you received multiple ballots, please call our office, 760-598-3535. Uh, We'd like to hear from you because when I get back to Washington, making the next election a smoother and, and more predictable should be a federal uh, activity that all of us work on. All right. Well, I see the balloons behind you and a fancy little thing called Wikipedia is telling me it was your birthday yesterday. So happy belated birthday. <laughs> Oh, it's not belated. Uh, four days of voting. One of them is my birthday. Hopefully I get the present, which is an opportunity to represent the people of San Diego once again. Dear Elisa, thank you so much. I hope you had a wonderful birthday. Thank uh, you. Absolutely. Okay, so just as a reminder, Daryl Issa is uh, facing Amar Campanajar for the 50th Congressional District seat. Well, I